Go for English is the most complete English language learning program for beginners on the market. The four DVDs are full of immersive English exercises. Each DVD has about two and a half hours of video instruction that teaches English naturally and without translation. Each DVD has two audio tracks, audio track A and the more advanced audio track B. With 10 hours of video in units one and two, the Go for English DVDs present over 20 hours of original English instruction. Here are some sample video clips from the program. An Apple, video 1.2. This is one of the first video clips in the Go for English program. What fruit do you see? An apple. Red. A red apple. Yellow. A yellow apple. As you can see, we are introducing colors and fruit. And discreetly, Green. we are also introducing word order, since in English the adjective comes before the noun. With our integrated grammar elements, the student will A learn how to speak apple. and use the English language naturally. Old or new? Video 3.5. Tell me, an old book or a new book? In this clip, you'll continue with the previous lesson on word order, but with new vocabulary. An old book. A new chair. Here, the integrated grammar component will teach the student that in English, adjectives don't change number or gender in order to agree with the noun. Some old pencils. An old basketball. Some new pencils. An old chair. An old bench. A new bench. Old or new. Using adjectives. As you listen to this video clip, you'll notice that it's the same video that you just watched. Say, the book is old, or the book is new. Use is or are. The difference is that you're listening to the second audio track, audio B. The book is old. Here, the student should answer the cue with a complete sentence using the word is or the word are, depending upon whether the subject is singular or plural. The chair is new. The pencils are old. The basketball is old. Occasionally, you'll see real students participating in the videos. You'll see some sample games that a student might practice. Here, for example, we're playing a game with the flashcards. This is one way that you can help an English student build their vocabulary and comprehension. We have the fruit laid out, and we have a number of objects. We're going to practice moving the fruit and putting them in different places. Uh, pick up the pineapple. Good. Put the pineapple in the bucket. Take the apricots and put them in the box. Pick up the peaches and the grapes. Put the peaches in the basket and put the grapes in the bowl. Very good. All right, take the orange and put it under the glass. 
uh, take the pears and put them by the bowl. Very good. And put the watermelon under the bucket. Okay, take the lemon and put it on the plate. Pick up the cantaloupe and put it under the basket. Find the strawberry and put the strawberry in the glass. Ah, in the glass. That's under. That's wow. good. In the glass. Okay. New students to English shouldn't be afraid to make mistakes. Remind them that learning from um. mistakes is an important part of natural <laughs> language acquisition. Good. And put the apple by the plate. Good. There are lots of different kinds of conversations in the program. In this example, when you listen to track A, you will hear both sides of the conversation. But here, this is audio track B, where the student is asked to read the boy's part of the dialogue. Hey, good afternoon. How are you? What's the matter? I'm sorry. All right. Well, see you later. There are a number of clips where people will be talking to the camera in a natural voice. For example, here we have a lady showing us how to make coffee. By this point in the program, the student will have learned much of the vocabulary and syntax needed to understand most of what is said. Pour the water into the coffee maker. And here we have some ground uh, coffee beans. So I'm going to put the coffee filter into the coffee maker. And Notice in this continuation of the previous clip, we have switched to audio B. We have added subtitles to this second audio track. Don't forget to put the pot into the coffee maker. Let me turn it on and let it brew. In about 10 minutes, we'll have some drink. A student will both hear and be able to read the words that are spoken. Now that the coffee's done brewing, we can enjoy this hot drink. You can also put some cream or milk and sugar to taste. Yum.